Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this channel, we usually discuss data science, machine learning and coding. But today, I'm going to tell you something different. If you are somebody who is thinking of becoming a data scientist in 2022, I'm going to tell you no. Please do not try to become a data scientist in 2022. Yes, that's what we are going to discuss today. Why? Because this video is going to have two sections. The first section, we're going to discuss why you shouldn't try to become a data scientist in 2022. And in the second section, I'm going to tell you what other roles you should try to pitch for, what other roles you should probably prepare yourself for so that you don't become a data scientist. So these two sections, if this is something that you are interested in let's get started the first thing why you shouldn't become a data scientist in 2022 you might all think oh data scientist is the six years job in 2021 or probably 21st century and there are a lot of openings in data science and a lot of companies are still hiring for data scientists and you would see a lot of boot camps a lot of tutorials a lot of youtubers trying to teach you how to become a data scientist but the problem is, I think, I think this is my personal opinion that we have hit a tipping point. The tipping point is for two things. One, the companies already did not know how to define a particular data science role. Let's take for an example that a company doesn't know whether a data scientist should be a data analyst, the data scientist should be a visualization expert, a data scientist should be a data consultant, or the data scientist should be a machine learning engineer. The company doesn't know. The company is trying to get one person to do all these things. Like if you go to any typical data science job role, you would see all the technologies mentioned, all the programming languages, all the cloud platforms, TCP, AWS, Microsoft Azure, Python, R, um, do you know how to productionize a model? You would see everything from presentation skills, communication skills, data visualization skills, statistics, machine learning. You would see like a whole set of skill set acquired for one single role. And I think that has hit a tipping point because company wants to hire somebody with all this skill set. But ultimately, that person is going to end up working in one of these things or two of these things that has created frustration in the data science job market. You would see a lot of data scientists enthusiastically joining the workforce, but after two, three years, you basically don't know where to go or what to do after two, three years of career. So I think it's it's quite easy to become an entry level data scientist. I, I mean, not, not easy in terms of finding a job, but rather you can become an entry level data scientist, but do you would not know how your career is going to proceed further. And I think that is a big, big problem because if you join data science, what are you, what are you going to do after four years? Are you going to become head of data? Are you going to become data, data manager? And where does your data science team even sit? Like if you see most companies, data science team do not sit under engineering organization or technology organization. Rather, they would sit under each business function. A marketing data science team would be under marketing. A sales data science team would be under sales. A data science team to help, let's say, IT would be under IT. So all these individual data science teams are under individual business function. Rather, a purely technical team should be under technology or engineering, which is not the practice that you would see usually in the industry. Now, this has created friction. This has created ambiguity. A lot of data scientists or want to be data scientists join a company expecting a few things. But once they join, that is not exactly what they expect. For example, a lot of data scientists, when they join a particular company, they are being asked to code. They are being asked to build machine learning model. These are the things that they usually interview. But once you join, you might be just writing simple SQL queries and pulling data. So this is a big difference between what is being asked, what is being asked to do. Like one, you are being asked to do something in the interview. Two, you are being given a job to do something. So I think there is a huge mismatch in this case. The second thing is, like I said, career progression. One, your, um, your expectation and reality doesn't meet. Two, the career progression. So you, you do not know or even the company doesn't know exactly what a data scientist can become or how the data scientist role can become. I know there are a lot of companies that simply would say uh, data scientist, senior data scientist, principal data scientist, maybe staff data scientist, but, but where does it go? If you are in a sales organization, a sales based organization, the sales role can become a CEO. If you are in an engineering organization, the engineering, in the maybe the engineer can actually grow into a CTO role. But do you know where the data scientist is going to be? I think a lot of us do not have answer to it. And if you ask somebody who is quite experienced, 
you can you can actually talk to them and then you can hear out their frustration that their career has hit a tipping point and they don't know where it is going to grow so because of these reasons i am asking you not to try to become a data scientist in 2022 okay fine you know it's it's well like everybody has got an opinion and i've got an opinion but now you might ask me hey you told me not to become a data scientist in 2022 so what do you want me to become right i should have some solution yes i have some solution so i'm asking you not to become or not to try to become a data scientist in 2022 if you're trying to become a data scientist rather i'm proposing three different roles for you the first role i'm going to call it a data engineer and the second role i'm calling it a machine learning engineer and then the third role i'm going to call it either an insight specialist or a business analyst which is what mostly companies call data scientists these days so three different roles one you've got a you've got a data engineer second you've got a machine learning engineer and third i'm going to call it a business analyst I'm not calling that a data scientist i think currently you would see all these things are being done by data scientists but i think the role has hit a maturity point so i would suggest you to prepare specifically for these three roles data engineer machine learning engineer and finally business analyst so now i'm going to quickly give you overview of all these three roles but if you are interested please let me know in the comment section we can have a stand alone discussion about how these roles are how these roles might you know avoid the problems that i mentioned and how these roles might also progress in long term but i'm going to give you a very quick overview of uh, like an elevator pitch first data engineer what does a data engineer do in many organization in most of the organization data engineers prepare the data that a data scientist or data science team might use for example you need to know how to build etl pipelines you need to know how to schedule jobs you need to know tools like databricks airflow and all these kind of tools which you might use or your organization might use to prepare or build data pipelines that ultimately data science team might be using but in some business teams some teams data engineers also know to quickly build dashboards that the data science team might use data some companies also expect data engineers to know little bit of ml ops ml ops stands for machine learning operations which is which comes from devops so how do you productionize a machine learning model how do you track an experiment so these kind of things sometimes ml ops teams do but some some companies expect data engineers to know this some companies expect machine learning engineers to know this but that that, that is something that we are going to discuss next but overall if you are a data engineer you need to know how to build etl data pipelines you need to know how to use data related tools like dbt and all these kind of tools to do data engineering efficiently the good thing is data engineering roles mostly sit under data engineering team so you have a career progression second role machine learning engineer so now what is a machine learning engineer a machine learning engineer is somebody who purely focuses on building sophisticated machine learning algorithms that can help you in building the best machine learning algorithm to say like what you basically do on kaggle but you do it for a business so that the business problem could be solved which is again what like uh, happens on kaggle like there could be a lot of competition on kaggle you would see there be a business objective uh, written on kaggle competition overview very similar thing that you do as part of your day job this is machine learning engineer a lot of companies these days expect machine learning engineer not just to know python or r but they would also expect you to know some some kind of you know um, low level language that will help you productionize a machine learning model uh, let it be c++ let it be java or at least you should know how can you productionize your mo model from r or python into a productionized environment so there are a lot of companies that use uh, sophisticated tools version controls and they would try to productionize the model but if you want a machine learning engineer job a typical data science type interview might not help you because most of the companies for hiring for machine learning interviews they might have a, a proper coding round like a software engineer they might have a systems design interview where they'll discuss about how do you design system system architecture that kind of stuff and they might also explore your data structures and algorithm skills other than you know after all these things other than this they would also get into your machine learning skills how do you know how well you know machine learning algorithm how can you productionize it how can you optimize it and that kind of stuff so the kind of skill set that you would need for this again is closely aligned with software engineer but again it gets extended into let's say um, a machine learning engineer with the machine learning algorithms machine learning productionizing and that kind of stuff so this is machine learning engineer once again this mostly sits under 
an engineering team so you have a good career progression in my opinion and the, the third role is a, a business analyst or insight specialist a lot of companies like google and microsoft if you go to their career career portal you can search for insights and then you would suddenly see the typical analytics role so this is something people have been doing for quite a long time using data to answer business question doesn't matter whether they're going to use model or not whether they're going to use python or excel but at the end of the day they would try to answer a business question mostly you know driving kpas driving krs and um, and trying to answer the business question i think that is again going to be a very important role that's going to be there forever um, sometimes it is just technology sometimes you know you can combine this with consulting so you could become a data consultant as well so the kind of skills that you need you need to have business domain knowledge for example if you're going to work in healthcare you need to know what healthcare data set looks like what are the components in healthcare data set let's say you want to work in e-commerce you need to know what are these e-commerce um, data set looks like if you're going to work in marketing you need to know marketing kpas so you need to have understanding of the krs or kpis you need to have understanding about how to communicate something to your user so it's not just you build a solution but you also have to communicate something to your user so data visualization and communication also becomes an important role this role might not sit in an engineering organization but i can see that this role becoming more like you know um the part, part of the business rather than being being in the middle like a, how a data scientist role currently looks like so i think we have reached the end of the video so like i said if you are if you are if you are a student or if you are somebody who is looking into move, changing your career pivoting your career in 2022 i would not advise you to become a data scientist rather i would ask you i would request you to explore three different career opportunities one data engineering two data engineer of course second machine learning engineer and third insight specialist or business analyst i think these three roles can give you a better career path than data scientist which i think is kind of overused in the industry and then people do not know what to do with if you think this video was helpful to you in deciding a career path please let me know in the comment section also if you prefer more videos like this let me know in the comment section otherwise i'm so thankful for all your kind comments all your suggestions thank you so much for listening to me watching me see you in the next video